up to 1800 metres for race number five, class two contest, first leg of the six up as well, headed by insatiable John Size and Joe Moreira team up from barrier nine. Doesn't have entry for HKIR. Victory boy Zach Purton from barrier two has won his last uh, two. Pikachu runner up behind Glorious Forever last time out. Stimulation last behind Glorious Forever. Charity Go makes his belated debut. Happy little baby is a course and distance so winner. Imperial Gallantry behind Pikachu last time out. Star Majestic, um, he's third up for the season down to general. Sherman, another one behind Glorious Forever. Last time out, actually finished off quite strongly as far as uh, the horses go backwards and forwards from Chung for our concern with the last 30 days. Simulation up on the 6th, came back on the 15th. No real noted or guaranteed leader in this race, Andrew. Potentially stimulation, maybe the horse to roll forward as he did two starts ago. Uh, People's Night Pikachu. I wonder whether they will roll the dice with Insatiable from barrier number 9. He probably needs to win this race, I would have thought, to give himself some chance of mm. racing in one of the big ones on International Day. He looks good though, Brett. Here he is here with his track work. You can see uh, going nicely here. And uh, look, he's was a good win two starts ago and he did back it up with a nice uh, fourth there behind, uh, Glo uh, behind Glorious Forever. Glorious Forever, of course, will be in the big race. Insatiable here in the class two. Victory Boys is in great form. Um, and he's going really nicely at the moment. As good, good work here from him. Uh, barrier number two, Zach Purton aboard, and another horse in form, loves Happy Valley, loves Chartin now, he's been winning at both, and Pikachu, you know, it was a good run from him uh, last start behind um, Glorious Forever as well, and uh, looks like a slippery seal there as he comes down, he's going nicely. <laughs> All right, we'll keep an eye on Pikachu. We'll see him in a second as well in that run itself. This is the first leg of the six up with a jackpot of 12.8 million going in. So an estimated dividend in the region of $22 million. A six up well worth having a go at if you haven't done in the past. Who's on the short list? Let's start with Sichuan Dan. This is at Happy Valley over the 1650. Um, came wide into the straight but finished off okay. He did, and he's a better horse at the valley for me. I'm not a huge fan of uh, the booking of Victor Wong for this horse. He is a get-back, run-on type. Better horse at the Valley, not in the tips for me. Me either. Agree. Totally what you say. More, more of a Valley horse and he has performed there. So we'll wait till he gets back there, I think. All right. So what about uh, Victory Boys? He's a, a last start winner. He's won um, his two starts, um, or his last two starts, the back end of last season, first up this. Yeah, he's a good, honest horse, isn't he? And um, David Hall's... Kept him very sound. Seven-year-old start, 31. He's got quite an impeccable record. He's touching on seven million in prize money, winning at the end of last season, winning first up, and in a little bit of style. I'm um, Harmony Victory. I'm not sure what to do with him, the former Brazilian. He's obviously got some talent. He was just sort of batting final stages there, as you can see. Wouldn't be surprised if he improved, but he'll need luck from the gate. Yeah, that's the key with him. But uh, look, it was a good run from Victory Boys, I thought. I thought he's David Hall spacing his runs out, so should be. Yeah, I think he'll run well. Mm. All right, so, um, how many have we got here? Five to look at um, in this particular contest. Pikachu fares best, finishing in second place. Um, the one they're chasing is uh, Glorious Forever, who goes around in, uh, in the Group 2. Yeah, he'll be one of the favourites in the Group 2. and uh, He was too good for them on this occasion, but good run from Pikachu. General Sherman as well from the back. He'll want pace on. Insatiable. Uh, look, he, he finished off there in fourth, but he did chase... Uh, the winner home, so he did uh, have a little bit of an excuse there. Hepler Baby and Stimulation were well back. But you can see Pikachu hit the line really strongly. Charizard early on, he's a Pikachu. And, well, are they Pokemons, aren't they? Charizard and uh, <laughs> Pikachu? I don't know, Paul. Don't <laughs> could know. be an omen bit there with those two. <laughs> yeah, could be. Um, that was a good run from Pikachu, and I think Insatiable may be second up. As Paul said, he did a lot of the chasing. He'd want to lift again on that performance. I'll give him the chance to. All right, Victory Boys, favour to go back to back and land the hat trick. Got him in for second. I think Insatiable, if, he, if he's a serious horse for the internationals, he's, he should be winning this. So he's on top to beat uh, Victory Boys. The Pikachu in there for third. We'll give Harmony Victory a chance again of improving. He's only had the two starts, run a fourth and a fifth, and they're taking uh, the hood off him as well. So he'll be one running on late. One, three, four and six. Well, I think one can win this. Same. Yeah, I'm going to tip him Insatiable. Uh, I thought uh, first up he was terrific. And obviously at the back end of last season, he... Um, he did run some good races behind Glorious Forever, Dr. Jeff. He defeated um, Super Chic first up, and he won on the week or during the week. So, Stimulation's a really nice horse. It's probably been a little bit of a, a rush situation for him, I get the feeling, trying to sort of get to International Day. But he can gallop. I'll give him another opportunity. Victory Boys and Pikachu, 153 
and four. I wanted to include General Sherman because he's just racing so well at the moment. If they go hard, he'll find the line strongly and the market suggests he's a price. Oh, he's a chance yep. at that price. Insatiable for me as well, but Charity Go, I'll give him a shout out. Um, his first start here in Hong Kong, his last start in the UK was in the field and stakes. Form of that work, race worked out particularly well at the start of their UK season. So Charity Go, keep an eye on him.